I'm Joseph Palacino, the mayor of the town of Johnston. I've been the mayor since 2007. Prior to that, I was a Rhode Island State Senator and I served as a Deputy Majority Leader, as well as the Vice Chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee. Um, um, my other background is uh, I'm a registered nurse. I have a master's degree in education. I worked full time as, an a as a professor at the Community College of Rhode Island. And I still work as an adjunct professor teaching part time at the Community College of Rhode Island. And many, many years ago, I was also a fireman. Um, I enjoy public service. Probably being mayor is one of the best jobs I've ever had. Uh, we've been very, very successful with our economic development uh, program. When I first took over, the town had a $9 million uh, budget, uh, uh, deficit, I'm sorry, deficit. And, you know, we took over when there were some tough times. We were able to pay off the deficit. And uh, we've been very fortunate. Uh, we brought the town from a negative bond rating to an A bond rating. Um, we have about $600 million in new businesses we've taken over, and economic development is our priority. It's important where economic development obviously helps stabilize the tax base, but it also creates jobs. And in Rhode Island, unfortunately, it's very difficult for businesses to come in, but we make it very easy for those businesses that do come to Johnston. We've had some major projects. You know, FM Global, their world corporate headquarters, is in Johnston, Rhode Island. A couple of years ago, they were going to leave and move to Massachusetts, and we were very... Um, Fortunate we convinced them to stay. Uh, also, we've just approved the $60 million uh, project, uh, Sims Metals Recycling. They're the world's largest metal recycling company in the world. They'll be starting uh, to break the ground in about probably a month or so. And also, in the center of town here, we have uh, a plaza that's been vacant for about 20 years or so. And that developer is going to start construction in about uh, 30 days, 30 to 40 days. And he'll be putting some retail shops in there, some stores some restaurants, a couple of banks, so we're very excited with that. We have a very strong proponent of, as I said, bringing businesses in. We have like one-stop shopping. If someone wants to open a business, we give them a form, this is what you need. We walk them through the process and we really expedite uh, in, 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 in a fashion where I don't think any other community does what we do. We want to make sure that the businesses want to come to Johnston. You know, they can go anywhere else, but we'd rather have them here in our town. We've also tried to improve our infrastructure. We built a brand new fire station uh, with no taxpayers' money through donations. We built new soccer fields. It would have cost us over two and a half million dollars. We built that with uh, donations from contractors who donated their time, their money, and their expertise, as well as their equipment. We also, for the first time in town's history, we put a question on the ref uh, a, a referendum question for the voters to build a new library. And we did. We, uh, they passed overwhelmingly. We built a brand new library for about $3 million. It was on budget and on time. And also, we built a new courthouse. Uh, we we're paying about $35,000 a year in rent. We built a new courthouse. So we've got a lot of good things going on in the town, and we look forward to bringing in more businesses and continuing to grow.